So I'm in this elder care center. I'm going to be visiting my grandmother, and I go into the room where she's supposed to be at. She's not there. However, another lady is there, and she has no pants on, and she's taking a shit into a bucket-like device. Yeah, so before I start, I'm fucking sick of shit. Probably from all the cancer fucking videos that I've been making. Also, I think Official Duck Studios infected me with his fucking AIDS. So yeah, children, bear with me, please. That wasn't creepy at all. So this actually just happened a couple of days ago. And the backstory behind this is uh, my grandmother is not feeling very well. She's in a care center for elderly people who have little accidents, you know, when they fall down the stairs and stuff. You guys know that commercial, help, I've fallen down the stairs and I can't get up. Yeah, that's where they send people who um, have fallen down the stairs. But um, all seriousness, she isn't feeling very well and I was going to go visit her. But today I also had a job interview, right? Because I, obviously my job at KFC isn't working out very well. So I get really dressed up in this nice suit. Well, it's not quite a suit, but. I like to tell myself that. I get dressed up in a white shirt and black pants and, you know, I look all nice and, and professional. So I decided to go visit my grandmother and as I get to her room, she's not there. And instead, there's this other lady and she has no pants on and she's taking a shit into this bucket-like device. And so I immediately leave the room in awkward, awkward embarrassment. And as I go, decide to sit down and wait for my grandmother, this couple walks up to me and they're like, excuse me, Mr. Manager, uh, we need some assistance. And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry to tell you I'm not the manager. And she's like, you're Hal, aren't you? I'm like, no, sorry, my name's not Hal. She's like, could you please get Hal for me? And I try to explain them. And remember, this place is full of old people who have memory problems or they aren't quite right in the head or they've had accidents. So these people walking by clearly didn't understand that I wasn't fucking Hal. She's like, could you please help me get Hal for me? And I'm like, I'm really sorry, lady, but I don't actually work here. And she's like, oh, okay, well, could you please direct me to, you know, the near your near supervisor? I'm like, oh, dear God, I don't even know what the fuck to do right now. So I try to explain again, lady. I'm sorry, but I don't actually work here. Um, I, I don't know anyone here. I don't know what's going on. I'm just here to visit my grandmother. And then she, she just has this look on her face. Like, you can just imagine this old lady. And she's just like, oh. And then she has this big, giant, blank look on her face. And then she waits for a few seconds. And then she's like, okay, well, have a nice day. And she just walks on. So I sit down and decide to wait for my grandmother. I'm not too sure where she is. And funnily enough, another... <laughs> old man walks up to me and is like, excuse me, are you the manager here? I'm like, no, sorry, sir. I'm, I'm actually not the manager. This guy, however, wasn't completely crazy. So he was just like, oh, okay, well, have a nice day. So I'm sitting down and fucking guess, you guessed it. Again, another person walks up to me and is like, excuse me, do you work here? So apparently the clothes that I'm wearing for my interview makes people think that I work here, which I don't. And I'm getting really frustrated of it, but it's a bunch of old people who, you know, they've had accidents or memory problems or something. So I'm not really that frustrated or anything like that. I can deal with it. But yeah, eventually my grandmother um, gets back. She was taking a shower and we visit, have a good time. And would you look at that? This story actually has a good ending. So there you go, folks. That was fucking cancer. Pretty mortifying experience though, having to uh, deal with an old lady shooting in a bucket. That was pretty scary. But yeah, this was one of my worst videos ever. Jesus Christ, man. I feel like ass right now. I just want to fucking hurl because I feel so sick. But if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, and comment if you guys have had any experiences with elderly people that are interesting, such as the ones that I've had. And of course, if we can hit 669 likes, I will go ahead and I will release the video of me going to the strip club. Lots of alcohol and women. It's a good one, guys. It really is. So if we can hit 669 likes, you can expect that. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you all next time.